the two things, if you sort of look at it on the highest level, that a bank will look at will be what's the credit risk and what's the commercial driver. A bank's sole focus is taking deposits and lending money. That's how they make their money. They provide some ancillary services and they are a commercial enterprise. Yet the key thing on, on their mind in all transactions, be it lowly leveraged, highly leveraged, will be I'm lending a certain amount of money. I want to make sure I get that back. So there's focusing on the credit, and that will be how much am I lending, how long am I lending it for, do I get repaid any during the term, or, or does it all get paid back at the end, do I have any security over assets? At the end of the day, a lender will be looking to lend against the business, not against the security. It's always about what cash does the business generate, um, and will I get that money back? On the other side, coming back to the commercial enterprise piece, is that Banks are there to make money, they are you know, publicly owned mostly themselves, they are there to make returns for their yeah. shareholders, and so they need to make a return. They provide debt as well as a whole host of ancillary services, so credit cards, bank accounts, cash management, yeah. fleet, pensions advice, you name it and they will sell it to you. And ultimately, lending money on its own is not very profitable at, in the current market yeah, for banks. They will make. all mostly be loss making yeah. versus their fixed cost base and the capital efforts set aside, so regulatory costs are a big yeah. part of that. And so a big part of the conversation will be around, actually, credit has become less of an issue uh, for you know, good quality corporates. Right. And actually, the pricing and what's the, what return on equity do I make as a lender? Right. And the struggle tends to become, does the client have enough ancillary services that they buy, which allows more than one bank to provide the debt? For all clients, banks will have a maximum amount they can provide to right. that client, the exposure caps. Yeah. It might be 20 million for a small business, it might be 150 million, 200 million, or more for a FTSE 100. However, if that corporate needs to borrow 2 billion, yes. then the banks are only going to be a portion of that liquidity. Yes. And so for the banks, it's absolutely about, am I, am I, if I lend this money, will I get this money back? And if I lend this money, will I make enough money from it yes. for it to be profitable business yes. and something that I want to still be doing in a year's time or in two years' time or in three years' time? That is absolutely fascinating. And it's really kind of a new and, and different view of banking, right? Where mm. Traditionally, we sort of viewed banks as the people who make the loans. And now you're in many ways telling us that, well, that is almost a commodity business at this point. Absolutely. Lots of them can do it. And it's really those value-added services, mm. all the other things that bankers are selling, where they're really making their money. Mm.